Four months ago, ex-Marine Carlos Romero was detained at the border for three hours before being allowed to cross into the U.S. He says it's happened nine more times since then, all because someone with his same name committed a crime in Iowa. That's incredible how they do not do their job. They say it's our fault to live in Mexico, you know. They say it's your fault because you come across. Romero is a U.S. citizen. He lives in Tijuana but comes to the U.S. every day to work and bring his kids to school. Border residents like Romero are the reason that 10 members of the San Diego Immigration Rights Consortium were standing at the San Ysidro border crossing Wednesday. They're protesting what they say are abuses that Customs and Border Protection agents commit against those crossing the border legally. Hello, we're talking with two border residents. Uh, about yeah. their rights. Ricardo Favela is the group's communications director. People are asking for basic dignity and respect, you, you know, to not be treated as, as criminals. We've seen American citizens, we've seen migrants, different people who have experienced abuses and brutality and even uh, fatalities due to excessive use of force. As people streamed across the border, the group handed out flyers informing people of their rights. Some people signed postcards that will be sent to the White House, calling for more accountability within CBP and reforms, such as better training and cameras to be worn by the agents. CBP said in a statement that they do not tolerate corruption or abuse within their ranks and that the overwhelming majority of CBP employees and officers perform their duties with honor and distinction. Similar rallies were organized Wednesday in the border regions of Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Katie Shulev, KPBS News.